Welcome back to the Grand Solar Minimum channel. Today is June 15th, 2017. Taking a look at our current solar conditions, our solar winds are sitting right about now at 410.9 kilometers per second with a density of about 5.1. Still looking at AR2662, Sunspot 11 is not currently producing any solar flares at the moment. Our KP indices are sitting at 1, and the 24-hour max for our KP indices are sitting at 2. And the reason for that is we go over to the SDO, we look at the coronal holes. They are earth-facing, but they're not that wide. And really, the solar wind is determined on how wide these coronal holes open up, meaning the width. Right now, we're experiencing minor possibilities for geomagnetic storms in the high latitudes, they're calling for a severe chance of high latitude geomagnetic storms in the next 24 hours. And here's a little something that I wanted to share with everybody today because in the grand solar minimum, we need to figure out how to make renewable energy and fuel in different ways. Here is an article that reads, researchers have developed a solar paint that can absorb water vapor and split it to generate hydrogen, the cleanest source of energy. The paint contains a newly developed compound that acts like silica gel, which is used in sachets to absorb moisture and keep food, medicines, and electronics fresh and dry. But unlike silica gel, the new material synthetic molybdenum sulfide also acts as a semiconductor and catalyzes the splitting of water atoms into hydrogen and oxygen. Lead researcher Dr. Torben Danik from RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia says, We found that mixing the compound with titanium oxide particles leads to a sunlight absorbing paint that produces hydrogen fuel from solar energy and moist air. Titanium oxide is the white pigment that is already commonly used in wall paint meaning that the simple addition of the new material can convert a brick wall into an energy harvesting and fuel production real estate. Our new development has a big range of advantages, he says. There's no need for clean or filtered water to feed the system. Any place that has water vapor in the air, even remote areas far from water, can produce fuel. So just think about that, folks. Using this paint on your walls at home is an excellent way to adapt and thrive in the Grand Solar Minimum. That's going to do it for us today. Please like and share. We'll talk soon.